an absolute advantage can produce something at lower cost than another country can. That country requires fewer resources to produce the same number of goods as the other country does. Tropical Panama can produce bananas much more cheaply than Finland can. Finland would need expensive greenhouses and costly heating. Panama has an absolute advantage over Finland regarding banana production. We use the term absolute advantage for economies as well as companies and individuals. If I say that John has an absolute advantage over Simon regarding carrying goods, what does it mean? It means John is much stronger and fitter than Simon. John can move the same amount of stuff at lower cost. What's the difference between comparative advantage and absolute advantage? Comparative advantage is the ability of an entity to produce a specific product at a lower opportunity cost compared to another product. Opportunity cost refers to how much that entity had to give up to produce something. Absolute advantage, on the other hand, is the difference in the productivity of two entities regarding a specific product. If a country doesn't have an absolute advantage regarding a specific product, should it not be producing it? Surprisingly, economists say not necessarily. If an economy doesn't have an absolute advantage, but does have a comparative advantage, it should consider producing it. Imagine there are two carpenters, John and Bill. John can make a table in 10 hours, while Bill can make an identical table in 9.5 hours. Bill has an absolute advantage over John regarding table making. However, this does not necessarily mean Bill should be making tables. Bill should then look at his comparative advantage in producing tables against, for example, producing chairs, cupboards, or dog kennels. Adam Smith said that nations should specialize in making goods in which they have an absolute advantage. Mr. Smith, a Scottish philosopher and pioneer of political economy, is known as the father of modern economics. Mr. Smith first described the principles of absolute advantage in his 1776 publication, an inquiry into the nature and causes of the wealth of nations. He described it in an international trade context. Adam Smith said it isn't possible for all economies to become rich simultaneously by following mercantilism, because what one country exports, another imports. Instead, all countries would simultaneously gain if they traded freely. Each nation should specialize where they have an absolute advantage. Mercantilism was an economic theory that claimed the amount of money in the world was static, 